Okay, so I haven't posted a video in a while and I wanted to share some of the knives that I collected and carry. Um, I, my father's collected knives, so since I was a child, like had a knife case in the garage, like a lockbox as well as other knives around, so I kind of grew up around really good ones and um, I moved away and have collected different different ones now and just wanted to share. I don't have expensive ones, I just have some that I've gotten and that I like for different reasons and I just want to go ahead and get into it and share the ones that I have with me. And I carry some of these every day. I separated them between the ones that I carry in my pocket and then ones that I can carry on my belt. You usually don't always carry two, but sometimes I'll carry one in my pocket and one in my bag, a bigger one in my bag, um, and usually those are just times when like either <clears throat> I'm alone at 3 a.m., 4 a.m. going to work, or hiking, and um, don't expect to use it for prey, but I like using it to like cut sticks and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, uh, let's get started. Okay, so, um, just gonna go in order and try to be as quick as I can because I have about 10 knives and I do have a phone here for reference in the corner besides the knives these are going to be the largest ones first and I'll just go smaller this is going to be my code steel um, SRK which is search rescue knife um, it I keep this one by my bed it is probably the strongest knife I have um, and I don't really know too much of the dimensions, everything you can Google, it's like a 3mm, I don't know, with, I'm not really sure. Um, and they all have different grinds. And um, I do have them pretty sharp. I sharpen all of them with a little stone. I have a few of these little stones that sharpen everything where they can literally cut hair. Let's see if I can show this on the video. But I don't want to like take off all my, all my arm hair, but all my knives are capable of... Uh, doing that. I sharpen them until they can. So, that was gross. Alright, that's my SRK. I'm left I'm left-handed, so I do have some of these fitted to uh, the left side of my um, my belt. And this is just one I got for fun. I don't remember where I got it. Probably from Bud K. So, this I just keep in my um use as a letter opener keep home and this is a condor I, like i said i'm lefty so this is on the left side but this can be um used uh, either way this is a carbon steel uh knife i really like this knife because it's really slim really chic you can fit this anywhere and it's made of plastic so it lets it breathe because this carbon steel could rust, but this um, has a really nice handle, it's a full tank. And that color is pretty cool looking, it's like a rusty color, like a green almost, like brown. It's pretty cool. It's a pterosaur, that's what it's called. It's probably my favorite knife, but it's also like, I'm not a fan of the, uh, the way they have to pull the knife out of the sheath because um, this ridge, I like wish it was on this side because I used this pool. So, anyway. And I also have this. This I like custom did a regular Morris sheath because they don't make left-handed um, sheets. But this is also just a, a Mora knife that I like cut in half. And I um... I tarnished the blade. I added, um, I'm not really sure what I put on there. I think like some apple cider vinegar and some oil on it to uh, keep it from rusting. And I do have a small more knife. Uh, this one I just tied some string around it, some paracord, and use this as a belt loop. So I keep this on my belt. Um, probably carry this knife one of the ones I carry the most with me and 
it's stainless steel so really like it really sharp and next I have this trade knife and a lot of these are made to be right-handed but I get these knives because all the others I've showed or you can change it to the left side um, this is a really good knife um, it's pretty thick I used to carry this with me quite a bit as well for it being like a plastic you don't really feel this on you and it's on you so and it's pretty small I don't like bulky knives, those are like the bulkiest I have. This is some boot knife I got. Just sharing all the knives that I had around. This one's not that great. I think it's like a Pakistan knife. I, this is probably like the first knife I got. I don't even know how I got it. Probably got it like in a garage sale around here or an antique store. Some place around here. And I'm counting this because I do have this on a belt loop. It's my belt loop. This is Swiss Army knife. I forgot exactly what the name of this one is, but yeah. And I usually always carry um, or try to carry a Swiss Army knife. I'll share the one I carry with me usually. Um, this is a Mora knife, quite a few Moras. And I usually keep this one in my bag. Anytime I use, this is like a piece of leather, anytime I use a knife, like in, during the day, like if I go out and use this, I always clean it and bring it back and bring it back home and then put like some oil or just something on it that way if I need to use it again say like I need to use it for food I can rinse it off and that those oils when they go away it's it's perfectly it's clean again um, so I like to carry this in my bag because I have used this before for several different things including uh, cutting a turkey <laughs> so very useful and um, it's just in a Le uh, leather custom sheet that I've got. It's another knife. I think this was carbon steel. I'm not really sure. It's just some custom knife. It's not that great. It took a long time for me to get this blade sharpened, but I finally got it razor sharp. But it did take a long time. So. I don't know how I feel about it. I need to take it out for a day and see how long it lasts, the sharpness and whether it's worth it to keep on me or to find maybe a different sharpener specifically for this knife. I like the way it looks though. This is another Mora knife. Old Mora knife. I've had this for a while. I think I've edited it or maybe I think I've cut this to fit my belt. I'm not really sure. It's gone through a lot. I think this is one of the first ones I bought that I was like, you know, I want a knife that I just can really ruin. So I've carried this through everything. My pocket, my jeans, on my belt, in my bags. And I learned how to sharpen knives with this. And uh, this uh, this is also razor sharp. And you can tell because when you touch them, they're like, they stick to your finger. You can probably hear it. I don't know. Anyway. So... I don't carry this with me though anymore at all. It's really nice, really small. Maybe if I custom make another case for it. Um, this is one I carry in my belt pretty often. This is actually a gift um, for my mom. She gave it to me the day I moved from Texas. Uh, ironically enough, I'm not sure if she knew it or not. Uh, she didn't tell me, but this is, I moved to Portland. I've been here for a decade now, and this is from Portland. It's a Leatherman. Two, two knives I carry with me because this is has a knife, but um, I usually always carry either my Swiss Army knife or this Leatherman, like every day. And of the two, this one's probably more useful because it just has a lot. I've used this, I've used the pliers, and those two are just very essential. 
with that said when you every day if you're going to the same places every day for like usual places during the week you don't need this as much unless you have a job where you use it like my job I I've used uh, a flathead screwdriver on this and this as well as a plier so um, this this is comes in handy whenever I need it to I have a couple of knives that I that don't really care for this one I bought online I can't get this one to sharpen uh, I've tried so much like it's kind of sharp, but I like them razor sharp. If they're not razor sharp, I just, I don't know. I just feel like they're not really that safe. Or really, not really sure. The blade's just not that great. So, I don't carry this one with me, even though it looks really cool. This is a knife that's pretty cheap, and obviously I've had it for a long time. But for some reason, I can get this razor sharp where it cuts hair. It's crazy. You can get these anywhere so it's so funny because it does it is pretty sturdy so even though it's cheap um, it's still worth it if you if you need a knife or you're cutting or skinning something and you need this to clear blood I mean like this cheap little dagger will do it all right I also have a few more This one, I'm not even sure where I got this. I might have bought this for like a dollar somewhere. Or I could have gotten this as a gift from my dad, maybe. Not really sure where I got this. So um, it is stainless steel pan, but man, this knife is pretty sharp as well. This one is razor sharp. And yeah, like my blades have gone through a lot, some of them. But this I'll keep it in my pocket. All the rest are kind of in sheets on belts, but the next few I usually keep in my pocket. So don't carry this one much anymore. Um, this one I carry in my pocket. Uh, I did. I do keep it on this side. I forgot how else you can change it. Maybe you can't. It only goes one way, but I keep it like this. And I just learned there is a flip here, a switch here, but it's too. It's tough to to oh, to. Get the knife to come out. Oh, that was tough. I've chipped, you might see it here. Uh, I've chipped my nail a lot trying to f do this. So, what I do is when I open this on my pocket, I just do that. I just grab it here, and then you can flick it um, pretty quickly. This is a even grow knife, and this part goes in pretty well. Well, not not quite flush, but pretty good. It's not gonna go anywhere. I like this knife because it's kind of like a kitchen knife, so it has a lot of coverage. So I've used this to cut bread. Um, it's also razor sharp. It's D2 still, so it's not only razor sharp, but I can break into wood and cut through things like hardcore, and it's still like cut uh, uh, hair right off skin. So very very razor sharp, but. Uh, I just like the handles because they're jade handles. They look really cool. But it's a big knife. I don't like carrying this. This is very, like, pulling this out. People aren't used to you having a knife. It just looks pretty intimidating. So the knives I carry the most of all those knives, of all of them, um, are going to be this Moore knife. And... this Leatherman on my belt. I carry these on my belt the most and in my bag and on my belt sometimes I usually just carry uh, this more knife. In my pocket I carry three knives usually not all at the same time but um, I'll usually carry this knife which is I don't remember the brand name it's really popular but it's a great knife now there's a model that's more popular that's very popular of this brand knife um, but I just took it I like I took a liking to this one because of the uh, blade design that's kind of how it's made so it's not like cheaper blades that are just printed where like you scrape it and the design comes off um, but it's really good it's really good steel and even though it has this little curve which I kind of didn't like at first um, it cuts really evenly because of that this is great for cutting boxes. It's not so intimidating. Um, the other model is not intimidating. 
feel like this one could be but if you're confident and quick enough and um, this is a good way to let people see that these kind of looking knives are really nice and good um, so I've carried this one the most as well as this Swiss Army knife compared to my other one you can tell this one's seen a lot I don't know I have, I have these parts but I don't know where my other part is the toothpick part I think I put this on the wrong side okay and I like this one more than my other one because I think they both have this I'm not sure or maybe I have another Swiss Army knife somewhere but because of this saw and for the same reason that I said I carry my other knife in the in the when I go hiking is I, I can usually not have to carry that bigger knife unless I'm just camping or with friends or the time or somewhere I'm not used to being uh, otherwise I like carrying this because I can just cut some sticks and stuff using this knife and whittle and do whatever I want with this knife and only this one other than that this is my other knife I carry the most this is an open L it's a number six I think it's, it's a small knife I've I have carved this out with with another knife and I think and over time it's just worn down really really evenly and it's carbon steel and since I live in the Northwest just to avoid any um, chance of rust from moisture in the air I uh, like to put my carbon steel blades in either lemon juice or apple cider vinegar something like that so that it uh, I say tarnish, but a patina is over, which is like you know tarnish. And open L's are great because you can—they're very thin knives, so you just gotta like not—you just understand physics. Don't use it as a jammer. But um, this thing does what a knife needs to do. Any knife needs to do, which is cut through anything. Pretty simple. Uh, I've used just this to cut through boxes as well as fruit, and. Um, it's razor sharp and it only takes a little bit of time to resharpen this um, like seconds so it's great and it has a locking this is a locking mechanism so that way if you need to use it for other situations that you probably shouldn't but that you might need tension on the on, on this blade you can lock it and not have to worry about that blade closing up on you at all um, so it fits very comfortably in the pocket when you uh, trim it down like this. Um, just like sits in wherever you put it, so you forget it's there. So those are the knives that I have. It's a long video, but thanks for watching. If anyone has any questions about any of these, let me know. I can always do a more in-depth video or show them in comparison or use them, but. I'm sure I'll get more in the future because there's actually like good knives I want that I just can't afford and specific ones like my father has some that I grew up liking so I liked using um, like his he has buck knives and um, just different kinds of uh, cool knives that uh, I'd like to start collecting one day but for now these are just the ones that I carry and use quite a bit try to use them all as much as I can, so you seen uh you seen here that you like, I think you should get them. I think they all work pretty well. Thanks for watching.